If you are a photographer, video producer, or filmmaker on a budget, you are likely going to come across a situation where you have to light a scene with just one light. While that may seem impossible, it can easily be achieved to great effect. Hang on to the end of this video, because I'm going to explain to you what single source lighting is, and then explain six different ways to use single source lighting to light your images and scenes. Hi, I'm Jim Costa. I'm a videography, photography, and technology guru, but you can call me a dadographer. I've created many other videos on improving your photography, videography, filmmaking, video editing, audio recording, and technology skills, and even others on lighting as well. And I'll link to those in the description below, and both during and at the end of this video as well, so stay tuned. If you want to learn more, remember to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to be notified when I upload new videos. I upload every week and I'll be uploading many more explanations of film, video, photo, editing and tech topics. Stay tuned to the end to find out how to get my free DSLR mirrorless or interchangeable lens video camera cheat sheet that will have you shooting your photos and videos like a pro in no time. Best of all, my cheat sheet specializes in shooting video with any type of camera, including mirrorless and DSLR cameras. In it, you'll find all the info you need on important video techniques, such as white balance, color temperature, frame rates, and more. The info I've assembled for you will definitely help to improve your work. I am a full-time working photographer, video producer, video editor, and technology pro. That's the small business that I own and it's how I make a living. You'll find my contact info in the description below. Contact me if you need photography or video production for you personally or for someone you know or for your business. To begin, let me explain what single source lighting is. Single source lighting is lighting a scene with just one instrument or lamp. Some of cinema's most stunning and iconic scenes have been achieved this way. A single source image can be realistic or stylized, flattering or scary, but is almost always arresting and stands out from other scenes. One way to think of single source lighting is walking outside at night on a dark street while holding a flashlight. That one light beam is all the light you're gonna have to light your way. It's the same idea in single source lighting, just one light is used to tell the narrative. Let's consider some of the ways in which single source lighting can be used. Number one is front light. Front light is not very common in cinematography because it produces a flat image. And this will be especially true without any other sources to even out the lighting. Often we think of front lighting as being devoid of depth, though in fact it does reveal depth because things closer to the camera, and therefore closer to the light source, are brighter while things more distant in the backgrounds are much darker. One common form of front lighting in this way is what's known as diva lights. It's like, for example, those ring lights that people use with the camera that's right in the middle, kind of one light source lights the image. That is a form of single source lighting. That's front lighting. Number two is three quarter front lighting. More common is three quarter front light, which gives you some modeling on the face and consequently is seen a lot in portraiture, both modern and classical. Number three is side light. Light from the side can be the most informative, revealing shape, texture, and detail. As a single source, it produces incredible chiaroscuro, or contrast between light and shade. Chiaroscuro is Italian for light and shadow. It's one of the classic techniques used by the works of artists like Rembrandt and others. It refers to the use of light and shadow to create the illusion of light from a single specific source shining on the figures or on the objects in the image. In film, it creates a mottled look. Number four is top light. Top lighting is lighting from directly above. A ceiling lamp hanging over a table is one of the most frequently seen examples of single source top light. Often a table or things on it, papers, white tablecloths, and so forth, will reflect back some of the top light, filling in the shadows on your talent under the chin. Number five is backlight. There are many examples of scenes only lit from the back behind the actors. It's a beautiful look, 
creating mood and mystery, revealing form without revealing details, reducing people to what's known as simulacra. The optional addition of smoke helps the light to wrap a little and lift the shadows, creating a 3D sort of look. In case you don't know, simulacra is a representation or imitation of a person or thing. If you're not a film history buff, this is probably confusing to you, so think of it like a caricature drawing. It's a representation of the original subject, but changed and no longer an exact duplicate of the original. It's not uncommon for a director of photography or DP to begin lighting by setting a backlight to give form and depth to the scene and then seeing if and where other sources are necessary to illuminate faces and other important details in the scene. Number six is omnidirectional. Most film fixtures shed their illumination in broadly one direction. But of course, most light sources in day-to-day -day life aren't that discriminating, throwing rays of light all, all around in every direction. Omnidirectional lights send their light in all directions as well. They create very interesting images, particularly when they are handled, such as an actor holding a lantern walking around at night, for example. When people are grouped around an omnidirectional source, each one is modeled differently. Characters in the foreground between the lamp and the camera become silhouettes, while those to the sides are rendered in chiaroscuro and those in the background are frontally lit. This creates a wonderful feeling of dark to light, near to far depth and dimensionality to the scene. If this is making sense to you, but I've got it in the comment section below. My question of the day is, how will you use single source lighting for your productions to add some dimension and creativity to your scenes? Leave a comment below and let us know. Would you like to learn more about your camera settings to get you shooting like a pro? I've created an absolutely free cheat sheet for you on all the best camera settings to shoot video with your DSLR mirrorless and video camera. That will show you the settings that will allow your photos and videos to shine and stand out from the competition. The link to get that cheat sheet is just below in the video description. I've also created cheat sheets on other topics such as video editing and now even offer training courses on editing video using Adobe Premiere Pro and soon I'll have others. I'll link to those cheat sheets and training courses below as well. Learn to edit like a pro with my training course. That I can guarantee. Do you want to see more videos like this? Follow my YouTube channel, Jim Costa Films, for more. Think what you saw was great? Like it. Have an opinion? Comment below. Know someone who could benefit from the info I provided? Please share the video. Do you want to learn even more? If so, then connect with Jim Costa Films on social media and online, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and the web. I currently have over 4,300 videos on my YouTube channel, Jim Costa Films, so feel free to check out many of my other videos for great tips and suggestions. If you follow me for a while now, you may know that I have a community of photographers, videographers, and filmmakers just like you on Facebook where I share other pro tips and tricks. It's called Video Producers and Content Creators. I love new members who want to share their work, learn from others, and also help others with their own experiences. You'll find a link to that group in the description below, so feel free to join it where you'll learn even more.